As you saw in the movie about basic symbols and activity diagrams, decision points and merge points are one way in which you can show how a flow branches off into separate paths and comes back together again. In this example, when you fill an order, you come to a decision point. Did the customer pay for expedited shipping, in which case you send it overnight? Or did the customer pay for regular shipping, which means you send the order by parcel post? When you come to the merge point, once the package has been sent either way, you can move on to the next step, which is close the order. So a decision point has one flow coming in and more than one flow going out, but these are alternatives depending on which guard condition is true, expedited shipping or regular shipping. You won't send the same order by both methods, you pick one or the other. So what happens when you come to a point where parallel paths can branch out? In those cases, we use something called the fork node. The fork node shows one flow coming in and two or more flows going out, but in this case, the two or more paths coming out happen synchronously. They can happen at the same time. Let's look at an example. When an order comes in, the order fulfillment people spring into action, as we saw in the other diagram. They fill the order, and they ship the order. And we'll put in some flows here to show how one step leads to another. Now here for ship order, we could show the decision point and the expedited or regular shipping that we had in the other diagram, but we'll just keep things simple. So order fulfillment is not the only domain that comes into play when an order is received. We also have people in accounts doing things. They would send an invoice and hopefully receive payment. And again, we put in our flows to show the order in which those actions happen. Now notice that relative to these two different paths, which can happen at the same time, we have no information about the order in which things happen. We could have someone packing the box to fill the order one day, and then the next day the invoice sent out, or vice versa, or they could be happening at precisely the same time. When all of these things have happened, when the order has been filled and shipped, when the invoice has been sent and payment received, then we can move on to the next step of closing the order. And we show that with another black bar, which looks just like the fork node, only this one is called the join node. The difference is that you have two or more paths coming into the join node, two or more flows, and just one flow coming out. The next step would be close order, and here's our one flow moving into that, and at that point we would be done. So the fork node and the join node are similar to the decision point and the merge point, except they show parallel paths that can happen at the same time rather than alternative paths. We have one flow coming into the fork node and two or more flows going out. We have two or more flows coming into the join node and one flow going out. And when all of these paths that go into the join node have taken place, then we can move on to the next step.